what's shaken, Enid? Our world has been rocked by earthquakes, and so I brought in some specialists to help us figure out what we need to do to prepare for the next big earthquake. My name is Lisa Rao. I'm the Family and Consumer Sciences Educator for Garfield County OSU Extension. And my guest today is Dr. Gina Peek. She is our Housing and Consumer Specialist from Oklahoma State University, and she's here to share a little bit about being prepared. Gina, welcome to Enid. Thank you very much for having me. Today you're going to talk about family emergency kits. Mm -hmm. Why do we need a family emergency kit? It's important that every member of the family have an emergency kit because if we're caught off guard for any type of emergency, whether it be tornado, earthquake, uh, fire, we need to be prepared so we can take care of ourselves. Okay. Well, what goes in an emergency kit? Basically, three days worth of supplies for every member of your family. So you want to include clothing that's seasonally appropriate. So for example, we're moving into fall, so I'm going to pack fall themed things. You want to have three days worth of food and three days worth of water. You also want to think about your family's special needs. For example, if you need any sort of special medications or health equipment that you can't live without for three days. Okay. Um, what might you pack uh, for yourself? I mean, because if I pack clothes for three days to go on a weekend trip, I have a lot of stuff in right, a big right, bag. Right, right, So basically what we try and encourage people, um, you're not going on vacation. You have to just pack enough stuff so you can survive. So for example, you want to have a pair of sturdy shoes because, for example, if you have a tornado or an earthquake and things are broken, you want to be able to walk through things carefully and safely. You want to have things that are going to keep you warm since we're moving into the cold season now and basically minimal. You don't want to take up a lot of space with all of your clothing, but have enough to keep you covered, safe, and warm for three days. Okay. Uh, what about uh, medications, mm -hmm. uh, extra eyeglasses? What uh, might be some other things? Absolutely. So uh, if you have an extra pair of eyeglasses, absolutely. Some medications are, are tricky because you might not have three days worth of medication that you can set aside. So what we do is we encourage people to think about what are three things that you can grab at the very last minute. So for example, it might be your purse, your phone, and your medication, okay? Think of these things beforehand so that way when the disaster strikes, you're ready to go. Is there anything else that we need in there as far as getting information, like if communications would break down? Absolutely. Um, in addition to our clothing, our food, our water, our medications and things like that, we need to have some way to communicate with people. Okay, so again, my last thing I'm going to grab is my cell phone. Other than that, I have a weather radio that I keep out. So I'm listening for weather, I'm listening for events like that. Now that's going to be useful in a tornado. But in an earthquake, we're going to get information in different ways. So again, our radio will be useful because local access uh, radio is going to be giving you the information that you need during that time. What about our pets? Do we need to prepare for them? Absolutely. Three days worth of food and water for your pets as well. Okay. Where should we store these things? Well, I store mine in an old suitcase. It does not have to be something fancy. You could go to the thrift shop and find something that will suit your needs perfectly. You might have an old suitcase already. It just depends on what you have already in the house. Put your stuff in one location, have everything ready to go. That way you can grab and go when you need to. What would be a good location for these items? I keep mine in a suitcase in the closet. Okay, in a central closet. Does mm -hmm. everybody in your family have theirs? Mm -hmm. And each person has their own bag? Yes. Thank you, Gina, for sharing with us today how we can be better prepared in case of a natural disaster or an earthquake. So we thank you for being with us today. If you'd like further information, call the Garfield County OSU Extension Office at 237-1228 and keep shaking it.